hey guys welcome back to unique beauty my name is maria macabo today's topic i just want to share with you how to grill your fish your meat your chicken wing chicken thigh and how to use the perfect seasonings for this holiday season how to get your chicken crispy just like so and looking dry after grilling it so guys stay tuned let me break everything down for you guys so please watch till the end so as you can see these are all the seasonings i'll be showing you how to use the seasonings with the right cages of chicken or meat you're using these are all the dry seasonings i'll be using to season the meat the chicken and then the fish so as you can see this is two cages of chicken you first of all gonna wash your chicken very well and your chicken wings very well just like so use basket to drain that water because if you want to grill your chicken and you want it to really dry and crispy, this is what you need to do wash it and drain that water that excess water she can see how the chicken looking dry yes clean it very well and take all that excess fat and everything yes yeah, so once i finish cleaning it then you go ahead now with the seasonings we got lamb beef seasonings mild curry and then all purple seasoning with dry chili powder then with the maggi powder and chicken seasonings yes so i've got the one cages of chicken wings and one cages of um, chicken thigh because they're both two cages i went with three spoon with the mixed seasonings so that way the seasonings can be balanced so this is the fish i'm just using four red snapper fish so now i'm going with half teaspoon of each so this is the lamb seasonings half spoon the mild curry half spoon and then the all purple seasonings half spoon the beef seasonings and then that is the chicken powder seasonings dry chili powder going in now then with a pinch of oil so when it comes to the seasonings you can always use which one you prefer guys these are just went good with my food and i like the taste it gives with my food season the fish inside the belly everywhere very well so now i'm going with the meat so the meat like i told you i like um the meat seasoning very well so that's one cages as well so i'm just going with two spoons or two and a half yes you understand because of um if you use too much it's going to be overpowering i know i went with four spoon there because the teaspoon is very small but going with two spoon at least it's good so the red coca fish it's called this fish is really good guys so this fish you can use the oven or you can use non pan like this you go with two spoon both side guys okay then with this one i'm just going with the fresh herbs inside the belly of this fish a pinch of lime or lemon will do because it's a small blend i'm just gonna add a little bit of water to blend it as well so once i finish blending it i'm going to pour that pepper mixture into the fish belly just to give it that finish look and taste guys please use non pan if you want to grill your fish it's the best because you get your fish juicy this way than the oven so i'm going to break the oven details as well the reason why i like this method now to grill my fish into a non pan it's really good guys so once everything is seasoned like like this you've used your choice of seasoning so season your meat this holiday season you just gonna leave them now to marinate guys with these seasonings guys you can only marinate your fish your chicken your meat for like 30 to 45 minutes the taste will go inside very well yes guys i am telling you it's really good so as you can see how the meat and the fish and the chicken looking dry with the, even with the seasonings so just be mindful with the seasonings so also when you're marinating if you're leaving it overnight don't go with lots of seasonings just go with small then after the following day you can add a little bit so that it doesn't go too sweet or salty guys just be mindful that's all 
because it depends how many cages you're gonna use the, with the meat or the chicken yes you see so as you can see i'm using the one tray to put everything to grill it guys because i don't have time to grill them individual guys so reality even if you're at home this is how you just do it so i'm going ahead now to pre-eat the oven so 250 i'm going to put it on so once the it's we eat later on then i'll go ahead and put the meat and the chicken and the fish inside the oven so first of all this um non-pan stick that i'm grilling this fish in you can use it in the oven or you can use it on the stove just like so guys to get your perfect finishing so i put two on just to to heat up the pan because it's a bit long guys yes so the oven is pre eat now I'm just going to go ahead now and put the chicken, the meat, and then the fish inside the oven. So you have to leave it 250. Once you close the door and then you leave the heat for 250 centials for 10, 50 minutes, just like so. Check on it. If it's too dry, go ahead and add oil. Once you add a little bit of oil, then you put it back in for another 10, 15 minutes. Then leave that same heat on like this. So once you put it back and close that lid, you have to check on it regularly. Okay. That's what you have to do. Then back to the oven. The oven, if they got too tight, the oven, if you have the one, the steam stays in, it causes your chicken to be soggy and then water. But if the steam goes out, like the one i'm using at home the steam goes out it doesn't stay inside the oven so this is why always my meat and chicken looks dry yes so if you have the one that the steam stays in the oven the steam stays in you have to just get the water out if the chicken go excess water you just have to take the water out and then don't cover the chicken just leave it open then I think in that case, you have to go with high temperature. So with this chicken now, this is the second time now I check on it. So this second time I check on it now, I'm just going to put the clean fill on and, and turn the heat to 180 centios just to give it its perfect finishing to cook very well inside, which I've already done. You see now I'm going ahead now and turn the chicken you can see how it looks really good and dry so it all depends on your oven you have at home your grill yes so if the, you got the one that it's steam inside it's gonna be hard yeah you just have to have the patient to get the water out inside the chicken or in the pan like that and then you can see the meat is already dry so now i turn all the chicken the meat like that i'm just going to go ahead now and then turn the heat up again after 10 15 minutes to give it that finished brown look without burning your chicken guys i hope it makes sense if not just keep checking on your oven and see how you you know want your chicken your meat and fish to finish the end of the day the reason why these days me i don't like to grill my fish it's just make with my oven it makes it dry so as you can see how the chicken is looking looking dry and crispy is really good guys so like i was saying i like to use the non-pan stick to grill now my fish just like so because i like it a bit juicy inside not too dry really like my easy oven to make clean, my fish really too nice dry actually. and i don't like it easy to this non-pan is really good it's easy to clean and everything look at the chicken wings yeah, and the chicken chine finish perfectly it's inside it's not overcooked yeah. Give it some love. Did you hear my boo there? He likes the chicken. When he tasted it, he couldn't stop this boy. <laughs> so guys, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Just keep checking on your chicken. Yeah, on the oven. Yeah, you know, because you need to play with the heat. Depending, you look at how you want it, then you just go with the heat, guys. Yes. I hope this helped, guys. If it does, please don't forget to subscribe and, like, and share and comment. Let's interact and help each other so this chili sauce is coming up next guys i've already made a video it's just to talk over it guys everything works perfectly you can use this chili to eat
with your rice your fish your meat your chicken wings everything you want spicy guys catch you soon